Hello everyone, I'm Alan Christian Albento. Hello everyone, I'm Teresa Marie Monsayak. Hi everyone, I'm Rod Lawrence Eisler. Hello everyone, my name is Lawrence Marine. I am Gian Renz Albert Sinabello of Group 81109. Hello everyone, once again I'm Teresa Marie Monsayak and I'm here to discuss with you what is radio astronomy. Radio astronomy is a subfield of astronomy that studies celestial objects at radio frequencies. The first detection of radio waves from an astronomical object was in 1932, when Carl Jansky at Bell Telephone Laboratories observed radiation coming from the Milky Way. Up next, we'll have Lawrence Marine to give us what conic is a radio astronomy dish. Hello everyone, my name is Lawrence Marine and I'm here to discuss to you what type of conic is a radio astronomy dish. Radio astronomy dish is a parabola because of its parabolic dish that will help to easily receive the radio waves from the space. That's all. And up next, we have Albento to give us the word problem. The satellite dish is a parabolic shape signals from a satellite hit the surface of the dish and are transmitted to a single point where the receiver is located. If the dish is oriented skywards and is 18 feet across at its opening, 3 feet deep at its center, at what position is the receiver placed? Since the vertex is given, substitute it in the standard equation given below. Graphing the parabola in the Cartesian plane, the vertex is at the origin. Since the parabola opens upwards, thus the equation used is x minus h squared equals 4c y minus k. Now plot new points. P sub 1 is 9, 3, and P sub 2 is negative 9 and 3. Choose from any of the two points. Let's say you choose P sub 1 and N3. Now substitute in the standard equation x squared equals 4cy. To find the value of c, where c is distance from the vertex to the focus of the parabola. The solution is x squared equals to 4cy. Substitute the x to 9, it becomes 9 squared, and 9 squared becomes 81. In other side, 4cy becomes 4c3 becomes 12c, and c is equals to 6.75. So the conclusion is the receiver should be placed 6.75 feet from the bottom of the center. For the next part, Gian Sinapelo will give you some interesting trivia about radio astronomy. My name is Gianarns Albert Sinapelo of Group 8, 1109. And this is our trivia. China Sky Eye, the world's largest single-dish radio telescope, is now fully operational. China's 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, known as FAST, as the world's most sensitive listening device. The Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or ALMA, is the world's most powerful observatory for studying the universe at the long wavelength, millimeter, and submillimeter range of light. That's all for my trivia. Up next is Ralph Hizler. Hi everyone, I'm Ralph Lawrence Eisler from Group 8. In a side yard of his mother's house in Wheaton, Elnois, a 26-year-old engineer named Groot Reber, built the Fish Antenna Radio Telescope in 1937. He used wooden rafters, galvanized sheet metal, and spare parts from a Ford Model t -truck. With this 31-foot diameter telescope, Reber mapped the radio structure of the our galaxy, discovered bright sources of radio waves outside our galaxy, and made the observations that would later help Cicelsis discover non-thermal radiation. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you, and keep safe, and God bless.